What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on using system restore and reinstall without a disk. So assuming you have an installation of Windows 10 on a computer, you're unable to boot up into Windows, so you're not able to access system restore or to wipe your PC, etc, etc. How do you do it without actually booting and logging into Windows? Well, of course, there's two methods of doing this. Number one, you boot the computer with a Windows 10 USB that you can create using the Windows 10 installation media tool. This will let you create an ISO or put it onto a USB or even a CD that you can then boot up your PC with and access system restore or reinstall Windows from this method. However, of course, that does require a second PC. Now, assuming that you're unable to boot into Windows, however, you still see the Windows icon when you're trying to boot up your PC, then it is possible to use system restore, wipe your PC or reset it without a disk. How exactly do we do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So of course, if you're having issues booting up into Windows, then you might want to check the description down below on a tutorial on how to fix that. However, if you're set on resetting your PC or wiping your PC entirely without the Windows 10 disk, then this video is for you. Again, if you'd like to fix your Windows boot up, then make sure to check the description down below. Anyways, the first thing you need to do is get into the Windows Startup Troubleshooting screen. How exactly do we do that? Well, it's actually rather simple. There's a couple of ways of doing it. The first way is that while you're booting up your PC, you press the F11 key quite quickly over and over again until you get to the Windows Troubleshoot screen. Now, usually as soon as you hit the power button, you should start pressing the F11 key quite rapidly to make sure that the command gets through because the window for pressing the key is only a couple of seconds. So if you press it a bunch before you see the Windows logo appear on your screen, then you're more likely to get there. If you have issues with your F11 key or you've tried it a bunch and it hasn't worked for you, then on the second or the third unsuccessful boot of Windows, you'll automatically get put on the system repair screen. How exactly do you get there? Well, of course, you can hold down the power button for five seconds or longer. And as soon as you do, your screen will go black and your computer will shut off. Simply start it up again and interrupt the boot process. If you're unable to do that, you can pull the power cord or pull the battery and the power cord. And in case you can't remove your computer's battery, try sticking to the button method. Eventually, you should get to a screen like this, and in a couple of seconds, you'll be presented with the troubleshooting screen. If you see this message about automatic repair, simply hit the advanced options button. Then you'll see a screen like this. So everyone should be here. When you eventually reach this screen, if you have a USB drive, a Windows recovery DVD, or a network connection, you can click this button over here and you can try and repair Windows. However, if you'd like to run System Restore and or reinstall Windows, you can head across to the Troubleshoot screen, Advanced Options, and then you have a bunch of options over here. Here is where you can access the System Restore button, and after clicking this, you'll get presented with the list of restore points you can go back to. However, if you want to reinstall Windows entirely, go back a screen to this one over here, or head into the Troubleshoot screen, and then you'll find Reset This PC. Now, of course, you get two options over here. The first option is Keep Your Files, However, it removes apps and settings. As far as I know, these apps mentioned here include both the Windows Store apps and other programs on your PC, though I might be wrong. It also resets all of your settings, so remembered Wi-Fi networks and things like that will also get wiped. And the option right below it, you have the option to remove everything. Now this of course wipes the PC to a fresh install of Windows. However, I think it keeps all of your Windows updates intact, so you probably won't have to download them again. Again, if you're planning on fixing your Windows boot up and you came across this video, instead of resetting your PC, check the description down below for a video that may be useful for you on fixing your Windows startup. However, if you're entirely sure you want to restore your PC, wipe it or factory reset it, then now you know. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.